Hello everyone, my name is Cap, and welcome back to the channel, another 7 Days to Die video, and I'm doing all this in Alpha 17.1 on the PC, and this is Stable Build B9. Now, if you recognize where we are, we are over at the prison in the Navisgain map. And make sure this stupid buzzer is not coming for us, which it looks like it is. You got wrecked, sir. We don't have to deal with those right off the bat. Alright, so, real quick, on the map, this is where we are. This is, it's right around about 1650 to 1075 or so. It's right down here, and this is in the Navisgate map. Alright, so on Alpha 16, we went through and cleared this out and then tested it against a horde. Well, with the way things have changed in Alpha 17, I've had quite a few people asking me to retest it to see how well it would do. So, what we're going to do is today, we're going to try and get inside the prison. We're going to try and clear it out the best we can, and then we're going to let it run against a Day 14 horde. And I do have it set to... 264 zombies now i'm not going to do an entire large amount of upgrades on the um the layout of this thing here so i'm basically going to just kind of let it run the way it is by default in here and of course i'm not worried so much about the clearing of things as much as i am just about how well it will work against a horde so you know i brought some decent supplies to make sure i can get through it so this isn't like a clearing challenge you'd see me do with glock or whatever this is going to be just clear it out the best i can as quickly as i can and then we're going to wait until a seven uh, yeah, blood moon horde shows up at night and see how it does now i'll do some minor minor level upgrades with the stuff that i have here the stuff that you might encounter on a normal basis getting here but what the hell was that sort of, okay but like I said, I'm not necessarily worried about being able to fortify this to what it would take to get this to survive a horde. This is going to be, uh, if I happen to be wandering through the wild, I get through there, I got a few minutes to do some basic level upgrades, and you know how well it work here. So we're going to let them beat down this door for me. Here, I'll help them out. Thanks, Brittany. Alright, so we got us AK here. Go ahead and take him out while he's back there too. So we're, we're, I'm kind of curious just to see how well this has changed, how much they've updated the POI. Because you know in Alpha 17, the POIs are like mazes now. So, you know, we'll see if they changed anything when it comes to the prison at all. Or if they left it the same way it was. We'll just see when we get inside here. And the uh, Alpha 16 test or whatever, this did a really good job of, you know, holding up against the hordes. Now, I don't know for certain if there's a specific way to get in here or not. There might be. I'm not seeing it. Let me see. There's a way to get into the yard from here. It doesn't really look like it. Okay, I'm hearing a whole bunch of noise. It looks like they're going to beat down this door for me. The prison itself is not very big. If it was a much bigger style setup, then I might be more interested in trying to do it as some sort of challenge. But I just want to see if, you know, we get inside and see what kinds of stuff they did here. And to see if, you know, if it'll survive once Day 14 Horde actually gets here. Alright, we got to get rid of these woods here. So it'll be real kind of curious as to what kind of zombies we see in here versus, you know, what we see outside. If we're going to get any kind of ferals or if it's going to be these kind of zombies all throughout. Let me see. All right, there's a ladder going up inside. Make sure she's dead. All right. So we are inside. Let me go ahead and reload real quick right here. Again, this isn't a clearing challenge. This is a... Oh, hey, what's up? Holy crap. Dude took a few bullets before he decided to take some damage here. There we go. Okay, yay, leveled up. Okay, so be curious as to how well this will work out, because when the zombies can't get to you, like in the last, oops, in the uh, Alpha 16 test, they beat on one of the prison walls until they finally just gave up. They didn't make it through the night, basically. But in Alpha 17, they will go into destroy mode, basically, and, hey, Sylvia, and do whatever they can to destroy the base to get to me here. So I'm be curious as to whether they just decide to beat on the outside walls, or if they decide to go for the weak points. We'll see how much smarter the AI is compared to the way it used to be here. I'm trying to help her out. There we go. All right. All right. So let's see what we need to do. This is one of the towers on the outside level here. So let's see what we can do from inside. Oh, there's not much here. I thought maybe we could get inside, but this didn't go anywhere. Maybe there was a door I passed. So let me go back down, Louise. Did I miss any doors going up, or is this tower just does not go anywhere? Huh. Okay, this is where I came in. All right, so let's go back in here. All right, so we're going to just nerd pull over the top of this fence because I do know that this is the you know the front gate basically here. Let's do it like this, just in case we need to get back out. All right, we are inside. Last time we came in here, these doors were open. All right, so there's a lot of noise going on over here. All right, let's run in here and see where all this noise... Hey, Brittany. All right. Make sure there's nobody behind me. All right, let's take out the radiated zombie and the businessman. Get them down for the count. I think they're down. Looks like they're down. Okay, so maybe we got some on the outside. Can't tell. Yeah, we got a crawler over there. I'm gonna shoot him in the butt. He's making a lot of noise. Okay, he's dead for sure. 
Okay, so now we can get back on the inside here. So it doesn't look like they updated the prison very much for Alpha 17. We still got the same kind of layout that was originally here. I guess this door is locked. We'll bust that one down in a minute. Let's go back. Hey, Sylvia. And here you come in, girl. What have you been up to? Not much, that's for sure. Okay, we got some in the office over there. The withered mother here. Any more coming up behind me? Let's double check, because I think I remember. Yeah. Take him out. I think I remember there was a few in the yard out here last time. So it looks like there is two. Go ahead and reload while I still have a chance to. So yeah, when you're fully equipped, whatever, this is not that hard for sure. But we're, this will be real curious just to see how well this will do here in, you know, just a couple hours once the Blood Moon decides to show up and start just wreaking havoc on this place. Alright, let me back up a little bit. Wasn't too much going on in there. Okay, are y'all in here alone? Okay, we got a safe in here. Yeah, there's not much to the prison at all. So this is one of those places if you did get to, you know, you might want to loot it and get out of here, basically, because there's not a whole lot going on. Um, you see all the jail cells are pretty much empty. Some of them are open. But, you know, these little bars that they have here, there's, you know, 7,000 durability on one of these. So if you happen to get inside of it and, you know, close the gate if you can, which I damaged that one so you can't. But I think on the ones that are undamaged, let me double check. I think you used to be able to close these. Maybe you cannot anymore. Okay, no big deal. Let's, let's, uh, let's bust in here real quick and see if there's anything here because you want to just kind of clear the ones that are inside already so that once uh, the actual horde starts it's just from the outside coming in here but yeah this uh, this ought to be a little bit fun here i'm i'm predicting that they just absolutely demolish parts of this prison to be able to get to me here and what i'm going to do is like i said uh, i'm going to do just minor level upgrades i'm not going to do too terribly much to it because i don't want to make this a fortress i just want to see how well this will work out against you know the basic standard hordes here okay so let's go upstairs and check out this other catwalk We'll clear this one out. All right, so we made it to the other catwalk over here. Not a whole lot going on. Definitely wasn't anything up on the roof there. I'm not even going to worry about trying to get inside this other tower because it goes up just like the first one did up to the very top there. See any more people making it? No, it sounds like they're still trying to get in through the uh, outside walls over there. Let's see if this catwalk goes all the way around. Maybe we can deal with those. Because like I said, I want to get it all nice and cleared out before the horde shows up here just so that we, you know, the stragglers and stuff that are currently here are the only ones here. Hey, stop it. I don't want her weakening the walls before the party even gets started. So let's go check out the back side over here. I think this kind of goes, and that's about it here. Let's gently. All right, so I think that's about it. There's not much going on here. The prison is not a super awesome place to be. I mean, there's there's really not a whole lot here. Now, of course, if I'm missing something, you know, I haven't looted anything in these places. So there's places, you know, the, the bathroom or whatever. But there's not like the hidden underground basement or something where you can find some stuff. The office is kind of nice. I mean, the fact that it's got a gun safe here, you could possibly get some stuff and a wall safe. But other than just a minor little bit of looting, there's not a whole lot you can do here. And if you can't actually close these doors anymore, then it's not like a super secure thing. So so what I'm going to do next is, since it seems like it's pretty much um, cleared out, is I'm going to do just minor, minor level of reinforcement of what I have here and kind of just get it going and ready for the Horde Knight. So we'll check back in in a minute. All right, so we have basic level reinforcements down. I put torches all the way around the inside and the outside of the prison just to light it up so when there's a Blood Moon Horde, we can see what's going on. I left this side open so I have a bit of an escape. I um, knocked down all the stairs, so if we get some people that can run and jump, they might be able to make it up there. But for the rest of them, I knocked them down so they can't quite get up these, and all I had to do was just nerd pull up here. Um first crack of thunder going on over there we got i just kind of you know set up a few blocks over here just kind of slow them down if i see they're coming then no big deal but other than that there's not another way for them to get in i closed off the one door that they could have got through out there and just reinforced it with the supplies i did have and like i said i left this one open in case i need to kind of run to get through here but other than that that's pretty much it i didn't do anything to the front uh, other than just put some torches but this way we can kind of see what's going on so now we just got to wait for the blood moon horde to show up and then we're just going to kind of wait it out for the night to see how much of a fight we have how much this building can withstand before they completely demolish it so let's just get back inside and we'll hang out and see what time the horde shows up and see what happens next all right, it is time. We are now ready for them to show up here. So let's go out here a little bit and let's we can kind of look around. Make sure I have my torch on, my headlamp, I should say. I'm trying to.
trying to hear which side they're coming from here so we can kind of keep an idea which direction okay so sylvia's already made it in we didn't close off the front door here so sylvia's gonna have to try and get in through that that door right over there the rest of them are, i don't know where she actually came from maybe she came through the very front door in there now of course they're going to go through the direction that i'm generally at but these towers don't lead out to here so if they manage to get inside and manage to climb all the way up the most they're going to do is drop in on the roof which would be kind of interesting to see if they actually get in or not but this is kind of just to see if we can make it or not. We're kind of just going to hang out here through the night and see what happens here. Now, let me see how many total zombies we have here. We've got 17 total right at the moment that are showing up, but we know more will show up as we go through. They'll make their way through these gates here pretty quickly. The wood blocks are definitely the lower of the durability, so they'll beat on those before the gates. But then they have just one funnel point and no way to get up here unless they somehow start to zombie uh, stack, you know, some World War Z or something. But the rest of the time, we're just going to hang out and see what happens. So we'll check back in a little bit if anything actually happens. But nothing going on right at the moment, so let's just chill, sit back, and relax. Okay, not much time has actually passed, more or less, but it looks like most of the entire rest of the horde managed to go for the front. And now that I'm out here, the, which is strange, they're not like, look, there's a there's an opening right there, but they're going to beat down the, the fence over here. So there's one little gap. They're, oh, she's like, oh, hey, there's a door here. So they'll come over and they'll start beating on the wall I'm here to try and get it to fall down. So, you know, other than that, hey, Sylvia's got some ups. Did she just jump over the fence entirely? That's pretty cool. So they're, they're going to come down here, but they're not really trying to figure out a way to get to me specifically. So I'm going to go back inside, and I bet they'll go back towards that one little door over there that they're beating on downstairs. I can hear them outside. I did see that there was a couple behind the prison over there, but it looks like they're coming back to this one over here. If they end up pulling in right around here and just running around in circles, then of course I can plink them. Nothing you know, about this little setup says I can't kill them as I go. Of course, that's part of surviving. I'm not just going to sit here and let them beat on the doors all night and not do anything with them. Get a little bit of a little bit of lag here with the number of zombies that are coming in, but you know, now that they're all funneling in right there. It always sounds like there's one coming up right beside me here. Okay, so let's check it out and see what we got over here. We, we got us a little party. Make sure we stay nice and reloaded in case something that does manage to show up over here. But you can see they can't get to me. So they're just going to run around in circles and continue to beat on stuff. And they will have to do quite a bit of damage to be able to implode this thing because the walls are nice and tight. So there's a lot of structure around this thing. So I'm not necessarily worried about them bringing down the house while I'm in here. So, you know, I can continue to work through some of them. And uh, we'll just kind of hang out for a little bit and see what they do. All right, so we are at about 1.30 in the morning. Um, as you can see, everything is still nice and kosher here. There's a decent number of zombies still down below. They kind of run back and forth. And you see they're tearing out the office right at the moment because they're still... I'm just running back and forth, so they keep trying to figure out a way to get to me. They keep going for the, uh, you know, reinforced concrete walls and the iron bars, all of which have a crap ton of durability. So, I mean, they'll come over here, and other than, you know, this beat down this one wall, the most they'll do is make a door to that bathroom over there, so they're not even getting to me here. Um, I have shot and killed a couple of them just because you know sitting here for a while not doing anything is you know gives me something more to do but the more i move around the more it changes their pathfinding so if i go from one side you know run over here real fast to the other side and then they're like oh okay he's over here we gotta run over there now so you still see there's a nice plentiful little horde here but they're they're not really doing anything um, it's it, we haven't made it all the way through the night yet, but I'm gonna call this one just as easy as it was the first one. They definitely got inside the prison last time. They just beat on the outside walls. I mean, so they're definitely inside. So when I get ready to leave in the morning, you know, I've kind of walled myself off a little bit here. But you know, other than just having to kill a whole bunch of zombies that's inside the prison, which all I'd actually have to do is just jump over the wall and take off running. Let's see what happens if I go outside. See if they all come funneling out here. See if they try and get me. Come on. Because it's already 2 o'clock in the morning, so we don't have a whole lot of time. Let's see. There they go. Let's see. All right. They knocked down enough of the fence so we can, you know, take a couple shots at Big Mama. We got, you know, Roger over there. We got Sylvia. We got Brittany's. We got everybody. So the whole party showed up. There's no cops or anything yet. I haven't seen any more buzzards, surprisingly. This is that one that just spawned up over here. So, yeah, I know some people will be like, well, Cap, how will it do with, like, a, a Dave's 35 horde when you got cops and spiders and crawlers and everything else showing up there? Eh. It would probably be a little bit more of a challenge. But remember, cops are only going to vomit if they can see you. Um, spider zombies, they could crawl up here, you know, so they could definitely get up here. And radiated zombies, they would definitely, you know, jump around and do some stuff here. But, uh, you know, just for giggles, you know, just to make sure everybody's kosher here. Let's see. Let's let's get a, uh, let me see. Uh, where's the uh, radiated zombie? All right, we'll get a couple radiated Arlene's over there. We'll get a couple of them here just to... 
Just to make sure everybody knows. Okay, there's the zombie bow, zombie biker, radiated. Where's the zombie cop, feral? Just get a couple of cop, radiated cops. Okay, so now we got some bad guys in here too. So we can let them run throughout the night and see what they're doing. We'll go inside and see what they're going to do. And of course, they're going to do a little more damage because they got projectiles and stuff here. But, you know, for the people who are wondering, this is more likely of what you see like a day 21 horde. And, um, you know, it's just something you have to deal with. You know, the cops are definitely going to vomit from here, of course. You have to stay away from the rail. I see you knocked down my torch you son of a biscuit so we'll kind of get an idea of what they're going to do here I didn't spawn in any um, radiated uh, spiders and stuff so they're not like long jumping over here to me but you know we'll, we'll give this a try we're just gonna hang out right here did they no that was still nice gonna hang out right here and see what happens till morning Alright, so we've reached 4 a.m. now, and the blood mood is horrible. We still have, let's see how many total zombies we have. We have 22 in there right now. We got some ferals. We got some radiated. We got all kinds of bad things. As you can see, this sound of this place is just, it, it's crazy with how much it sounds like they're doing damage. But, you know, I have my nail gun out so you can see a few places where the cops vomit made it up here. Did some damage to this. But I hung out here, and you can see that they're, they're not really doing a whole lot. I mean, I, I haven't been in danger all night. I've been kind of just hanging. I actually got up and went to the bathroom once while I was sitting and just letting here run and they're beating through that wall so they can get outside but they haven't really done anything to me yet so what i'm gonna do real quick let me just turn them off turn off the ai so they'll st stop talking making so much noise jesus god they're loud okay and they knocked down all my torches bunch of jerks all right let's come down here and see what all they did see they got quite the party going over here in the corner what's oh my god <laughs> look they're, they're all in this like one cell i don't know what all y'all are trying are you trying to stack up high enough to hit because I, I was like hiding over here in this corner and so, you know, this end of the building is definitely taking a little bit of damage. They knocked down the walls over here. And, uh, you know, they knocked down the gate. Did they do anything over here? No, I don't see anything over here. I mean, granted, if I was down there, they would have been totally screwed. Uh, or I would have been screwed. They would have been just fine. All right, so let's run around over here and see what they were doing. We've got a couple showing up over here. They didn't even go for this door, so they weren't trying to, like, get to the roof to get to me. They All they did was they beat a hole in this wall, and they piled into the jail cell there right underneath me. But, you know, I didn't take any damage at all. And other than just taking some pock shots at them just for funsies, you know, like that, just because I can, they posed no threat to me whatsoever while I was up there. I just kind of hung out. And they... Oh. Boom, baby! Go ahead and finish that off now. Now, if they do enough damage, eventually they might bring that little catwalk down there and make my escape ride a little bit difficult. But other than that, they didn't really do anything. So, you know, for anybody who's wanting to know if the prison is safe, I would say so. They did make a door to the outside of the prison, but there's nobody out here right now. Um, so, yeah, I would say this is definitely a safe method to do it. So if you knock down the stairs and plop your butt inside one of the jail cells upstairs, then you are pretty much good to go. So let's, um, let's stack our way back up here again. Let's do this the normal way. And uh, good to go. And then you can just pick those up so they can't climb up here with you. But yeah, I was hanging out right here most of the night. I just kind of sat here, kind of went in the jail cell to see if I could see anything through the window. And then I sat right back over here. So that's all they did was just pile under me and try and knock down the building. But you can see it's still standing. And that was a pretty decent sized horde. So there you go. Uh, if you have any other POIs you want me to test out like this, I know we did the Red Missile Base, uh, Red Mesa Missile Base too. Sorry, uh, we can redo that one if you want to, and let me know if any other ones you want to. Now, some of the bigger ones, you know, the Shang Tower and the hospital and stuff, you know, those are kind of things they'll do with uh, Glock as our POI clearing challenge. But as far as just testing how it would work against the Blood Moon Horde, definitely let me know. You know, what other kinds of places you'd like me to test or retest that maybe I did in previous versions. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, you know, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And smash that bell icon so you don't miss out on future vi videos. And you'll get notified and all that happy jazz too. So in the meantime, thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys are truly awesome. You have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you later.